Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So I do have a Moleskine haul here. I have picked up a large notebook as well as a planner for 2023. Um, this is actually my first time using a planner from Moleskine. However, I have been a loyal um, user of the Moleskine notebooks um, so much so that I may actually show you my notebook collection in this video. So first we'll do the haul and then I will talk about how I use these notebooks and show you my Moleskine collection because I think that might be interesting for some of you, especially if you guys are writers or authors like me. This right here is my um, kind of like essential, I guess you can say, when it comes to writing my books. So I think I'm going to start with the planner first. So um, the Moleskine brand has a large size and a pocket size. So this is what the pocket size looks like and you can get um, their notebooks either in a soft cover or a hard cover. So as you guys can see here, I do have the 2023 weekly notebook diary or planner so it has the week on the left side and a roll page on the right and what they have started to do is actually emboss the year on the cover now so i think that's really nice i don't know if you'll be able to see that maybe i need to zoom in so you can see everything but it just has the year embossed there on the center. You do have the elastic closure, which I actually find that I love. Um, I feel like it keeps the notebook secure. Actually, I typically use the hardcover. I've always used a hardcover on mine just because I typically put them in another cover. However, I am putting this one in a passport TN. So this little guy right here, and this will be my on the go system. So I will probably do a planner setup for next year very soon. Um, I'll probably do that in November or something like that. But I'll show you what this looks like. So you do get the band here and it actually has a handy little calendar which you can flip over and make it stand up kind of like the depiction that they have here and then you can also um, put a pen in there which I think is kind of interesting I don't know if I would do that but um, so you do have the mini calendar here you can probably cut this up if you don't want to make it stand up on your desk and maybe just use it in a different planner but um, it's very helpful I really like how minimal this brand is and it's quite classic to me so um, like I said, I did get the soft cover, so it's very pliable. It's not like super flimsy. It's enough that your pages will still be protected. But here we have the in case of loss, please return to, and then you have a space for a reward. Um, and then it goes into the actual planner. So here you have a page for personal data. So you can put your name, your address, and all that kind of information. I will be filling this page up after this video. And then you have your mini calendars here for 2023. So January to August is on one side, September and December is on this side. And then you have a blank spot, uh, presumably to put your holidays or events or anything like that. Um, I really like that it gives you the week as well on the side. So I find that very helpful. Again, very simple and minimal, which I love. And then it goes into the monthly. So this is for 2023. The only um, issue or concern that I have about the pocket size is that um, your calendars are only one per page. So you have January and then February, and it goes on until December here. So I find that it doesn't give you too much space. So if you are using this as your main planner, that could be um, an issue. However, since this is not going to be my main planner, it's just something that I'm going to be keeping in my purse as something that I'm going to be using almost like an appointment book, if you will. Um, so I won't need too much space. I just want to know if I already have something going on that day so I know not to overbook myself. So I'm just going to show you how the rest of the months look like. And then again, you have 
um, the weeks listed there on the side. You do have a little space here for notes and then you have this area here at the top for whatever you want. So we'll see how this goes. This is the only thing that I'm a little bit iffy about about this planner because the boxes are so small. However, um, you could also utilize the areas on the top and bottom. Um, maybe use it as a legend for some bullet journaling. Um, and then you also have an overview here of 2024. So again, you get January to August, September to December with that blank spot again. And then we go into kind of like the extra stuff. So we have the global holidays and you have all the countries there. Um, I am going to find this useful because I do celebrate holidays for different cultures. I am mixed, so having this will be helpful for me. Um, I'm Canadian, but I also celebrate a lot of U.S. holidays too. So um, because of all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be keeping this. You also have time zones. Again, for me, this is helpful because um, when I do my releases and we do collab sales for my shop, we often have to reference things like this so that we know when to post our codes and things like that. And then you have here measurements and conversions. I suck at kind of remembering this kind of stuff, so it kind of helps. And then also you have the temperature and speed. Um, we go by Celsius here in Canada, but I know in places like the States, they go by Fahrenheit. Sometimes it's handy to have that here. Um, and then you also have the dialing codes. I personally won't need this, so um, I might just ignore this page or cover it up with an insert or printable from my shop. Um, and then you have a line page here for ideas and goals and travel planning. Um, since this is just lined, I can probably utilize the space for something else, maybe like listing out um, just so that I can utilize all of these beginning pages. And then here you have extraordinary moments of the year. And then this is like a blank space. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. And so um, it is quite minimal, very clean looking, which I love. Um, and then you also get this kind of map as well. I'm not probably going to use this, but again, some of you may find that this helpful. You have a little ruler for measuring. And then here is actually where we start to go into the weekly. So here we go. This is what the weekly looks like. You So you have a line page and then on the left you have the month. It says the week here. So it goes from Monday and then your Sunday and Saturday are kind of sharing one area here. So if you guys are busy on the weekend, this could be a problem for you. And as you guys can see, sometimes they do fill up the small spaces with um, holidays and things like that, which I hope they take out next year because it does take up quite a bit of room, especially on if it falls on the Saturday and Sunday. But then again, you know, you do have the full line page here, which you can continue your list on. So for me, I'm going to be using this as an on the go planner for my finances and meal planning. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this side. And I'm going to be tracking my daily spends on, on this side. I have been really bad at tracking my finances this year. Um, I think it's because when I opened up my sticker shop, um, there's a lot more expenses to keep track of now. So like postage and supplies and things like that. And so I really struggle to keep on top of it. Um, it's not that I spend a lot. It's just that for tax purposes, I want to be able to have that kind of listed here so that when I do do my bookkeeping at the end of the month, it's all in one book and I don't need to check all my receipts and all that kind of stuff. I kind of have it all here. So that's my hope with this planner. Um, but everything is pretty simple in this setup and that's kind of what I wanted in a planner. I wanted something that perhaps I didn't need to decorate. Um, it's very light and compact and um, I'm actually a big fan of this Moleskine paper, so I already knew that when I picked this planner up. So you do get a little bookmark here, so it's in a kind of like taupey color. Um, I really like to have these and I use them often. So let me just go to the back here. So at the back you do get a couple of lined pages, not that many. So one 
two, three, so just three. Um, and then here at the back, you do have a gusseted pocket so you can fit any receipts or that kind of stuff in it. You do get the quality control thingy. And then if you purchase a planner, you do actually get some stickers. So it comes in blue, red, and black. So very basic stickers here, um, very functional. So if you do want to denote something, make it stand out a little bit, with stickers you can do that but I obviously have the stickers for my own shop that I will be using in here and then you just have the back here and it says Moleskine at the bottom so like I said I am planning on using this on the go with me and using it in a passport um, you guys can see that the pocket is slightly larger than the passport so I will have some overhang um, but that does not bother me. Um, I just really wanted a dated planner in my Passport TN. This is from the Traveler's Company, by the way, and it's in the camel. I haven't shown much of this planner um, on my channel very much, but I will be soon, especially in 2023 when I begin to use the Moleskine. Um, but I will share more about my setup in an upcoming video. So if you guys are interested in that, um, definitely hit that notification button so that you will know exactly when my Passport TN setup goes live. So I do just want to compare the soft cover with one of the pocket notebooks that I have. So this is also by Moleskine, but this is the hardcover version. So with the hardcover here, as you guys can see, it doesn't bend at all. Whereas the soft cover, you can really, you know, manipulate it a lot more. This one stays pretty stiff the entire time. I really like this about it because I take these notebooks out with me and when I do write I am writing for a very long time and sometimes I'm just writing on my lap if I'm at the park or something like that and I get an idea for a story or I really just want to flesh out a scene that I'm working on um, it really helps to have the hardcover but since like I said I am putting it in a TN I do want the soft cover for the purpose of the planner um, but I do want to show you the lines. They are slightly different. So I've noticed that in the in the pockets notebook, um, they're a little bit wider than the one in the planner. So if you guys can see there, the lines are also a little bit darker and then the lines in the notebooks are a little bit lighter. So that's just something that I've noticed. Um, but basically this is just a little notebook. I bought this from Target a while ago. We don't have Target anymore in Canada. I typically order my Moleskines off of Chapters Indigo, which if you guys are in the US, it's basically like the Canadian Barnes & Noble here. So, so if you are in Canada, check out Chapters Indigo for good sales, or you can find these easily on Amazon, and I will leave links to them down below. But, um, that is the first item that I picked up. And now I will show you my new notebook. So this here is the large size. And again, it's in the hardcover and it's also ruled. So these are like the specifications that I look for when purchasing a writing notebook. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a romance author and I typically write two to three books a year. And so I write a book in basically one of these notebooks. Sometimes it requires me to use two notebooks, which is what um, I'm currently having the issue with right now. So for example, this is the current one that I am writing my book in and I actually do have um, only 20 pages or so left and I still have the last half of my book to write. So um, sometimes I do find that I do need to use two notebooks in order to complete a book, um, but I don't mind um, as long as I can finish my book. So this one is a limited edition one. They do have plain ones as well. Um, this is actually the Sakura collection, and this is my second one that I've purchased 
of the Sakura collection. I do have one from, I think, two years ago that I purchased. So this was my first one. Um, they do these collabs often with various companies, um, sometimes TV shows, brands, and other things like that. So this was my first one, and then this is my new one. And as you guys can see, this one has a silk finish to it. It has like a fabric on top of it. So it has a very beautiful, delicate look to it. This one also kind of has a fabric to it, but um, this one is a little bit rougher and it's not shiny. Um, and then you do get the flowers printed on, very similar to this one. So let me open the new one up. So you do get a little bookmark. I did not get this with the previous one, um, but it just has a few words there. If you wanna pause and read that, you can. And then you do have the beautiful interior. Um, and then again, we have the little belly band here and you can use these to cut them out. So you have some decorative um, floral tags is what they called it. So that's kind of cute. Um, you can probably use that as a little decoration or something like that. So again, you have the in case of loss, please return to, and then the reward. I like that there's no margin. Um, it's just a blank spot here for you to write your header. Or I love this paper. It's not really compatible with fountain pens. So if you wanna use fountain pens on it, I would probably suggest a different notebook. Um, however, it's great for gel pens, ballpoint pens. Um, I write with ballpoint pens and gel pens um, because they last a little bit longer. Um, but you have a ton of pages. I don't know if they state how many pages. It's 240 pages, so um, that is really helpful. Again, like I said, it takes me two of these notebooks um, to write a book, so that means I go through a few of them a year, and then this is the back of it. it has that beautiful pattern, and then at the back, um, we actually do get stickers, which I was surprised about because, again, the other one that I got does not have stickers, so they are spoiling us. These are actually translucent, so it's, they're so cute. I really love them. I don't know if I'll be able to use it though because it's so cute and I tend to hoard, but they do give you the pamphlet here and this comes in all the different languages. Like I said, I've been using this even before I was published, so I've been using them for a long time. So that is the notebook. Again, if you guys are authors, writers, um, if you like to brainstorm or just write a lot, I would definitely recommend these Molstein notebooks, especially the hardcover ones. I've tried other ones of the same um, format, but these Molstein ones are definitely my favorites. I find that I need these elastics on it just so that it can stay closed in my purse and like I mentioned earlier the hardcover is essential for me because sometimes I'm not writing at a desk I'm just writing on my lap or things like that so yeah I love it so it's plain on the back the detailing is just here on the front now they do have different designs on the blank ones and you can get this in the pocket size as well so I'll show you the difference in the size here so this is pocket this is the large so um, you don't get to choose like what pattern on the outside or on the inside they choose it for you so that's the only issue that I have with it because sometimes I prefer the designs on the plain notebooks but I need the line but you know, that's such a small thing to worry about, so it's fine. But um, now that I've gone through my little haul, I think I will go through and show you my Moleskine collection. Like I said, I've been using these notebooks even before I entered the planner community, even before I knew about the planner community. I used these before I was published. So I'm gonna show you my Moleskine collection. So let me start with the pocket ones because I only have this one here. So this is, like I said, the pocket hardcover in the lined again. And then I do have these ones, 
which are the Cahier, and they come in a pack of three. They're very affordable. This one is the Craft one, and as you guys can see, these are um, kind of like the equivalent of the Field Notes notebook, and you can get them in blank, grid, lined. I have a lined one right here, and they are stitched. And at the back, you do get the uh, pocket. It's not a gusseted pocket, it's just kind of like a slip, but um, these are perforated, and they do come in a pack of three. They're very simple, minimal, which I love. Um, I do have some of the pastel ones in this planner. This is a pocket foxy fix, so they come in like cute colors too. So I had like a yellow, a lilac, and then a pink one. So these are good to fit in pocket notebooks or passport. Um, so this one, as you guys can see, doesn't have that overhang because it is a pocket. But I don't tend to use this size as often as I do with the large. With the large, I have, um, I think, more than 10. I think I have 12. So let me show you my large collection. So these are all of my moleskins. So as you guys can see, I have quite a few of them. That's one stack. I have some more here. So I don't really know how to go about sharing this. Um, I'll probably just go with the first one here. So um, my very first moleskin, it's just a black one. I wanted to go really classic at the time. I was not in the planner community yet. And um, I may not have been even published. Let me check. I started this in 2014. I wrote Nirvana in this book. So um, I've noticed that actually the quality has changed slightly. Um, the lines are a little bit darker. Um, a little bit more similar to the planner, whereas, as you saw earlier in the other ones, the lines are lighter. So I wrote Nirvana in this one, so I got the black, and then what I did was I tried to match the cover of the Moleskine to the cover of my book. So after Nirvana, I wrote Legacy and Legacy has a red cover. So that's why I have this red one. You can see like all these tabs all these post-its were what I used to just denote certain sections or pages that I need to refer back to. So that's why you see all of these here. It's very messy in here. So I'm not going to show you like the actual um, pages, but I use them a ton. I also use these sticky notes as storyboards as well. The next one that I got is this purple one. I couldn't find a blue one at the time um, when I was writing Resurrection. So I got purple instead, which is fine because I do like this color. Um, but some of these colors are limited edition colors or you can't find them as easily. So if there's a cover that I like or a color that I like, then I do purchase it right away. And so I actually do have like three of the white ones here. This one is brand new, I haven't used it yet, so you can see like it's white white and these ones are a little bit yellow because um, I wrote my Moonrise Beach series in here. And my Moonrise Beach series is my first contemporary romance series. It's much more lighter, whereas my motorcycle series, my Glory MC series is very dark, very action-packed. Um, has a lot of drama and suspense. Um, the Moonrise Beach was much more beachy, lighter, it's quite emotional and sexy and heartfelt. So I chose white to kind of go with that. So as you guys can see here, I do have little tabs for each of the books. So I, when I do outline them, I just put a little mark there and then I have a little bit of my Heartbreaker series kind of in here as well. And same with the top, anytime I start using it for a different book. I marked that in. At the time, I was able to fit quite a few books in these two books, so that was really nice. Um, and then after that, I found this one. This is a lilac one. Lilac is my favorite color, so I wish I had bought more of them um, because I just love this one. But as you guys can see, I was continuing on with the tabs. 
It's a lilac one. And then I found this one, which is the Sage. This one has a bit of the Cozy Mystery series that I wrote in here, as well as um, my new Saiga Brothers series, which I'm currently still writing. So this is a little bit more recent. And you can see I went crazy with the tabs on this one. Um, and then I also found this one. This one is called the Dusty Rose and it's kind of like a blush pink it's really pretty i haven't been able to find this again so that's a bit of a bummer but um, i didn't tab this one as much and then i also have the sakura one which is what i showed you so around this time um, i decided that i was going to buy some of the limited edition covers so these are the two limited edition covers that I have. I'm just gonna move this pile away because it's blocking. So this is the first Sakura one that I got. And then this is actually um, the one that I purchased last year. So this is the Sailor Moon one. And it does have the, hold on. It does have um, the illustrations on it. So that's what makes it limited edition and then in this case you do get the foiling more recently i've been purchasing the limited edition covers because i think they're really pretty and they're nice to look at um, but these are around 35 dollars canadian which is quite a big jump from the 26 if you purchase it plain um, so this is just one of the extra plain ones that i haven't used yet in the white So now I have two to write my next books in and then I just have around 20 pages left of this particular notebook to finish off. So I'm hoping that I can at least finish off my book that I'm currently writing in this one before I have to jump into my new ones. That is my little Moleskine collection. Um, I think I counted and there were 12 books. Um, at least for the large size and then you saw like I only had one or two of the other ones so um, you can definitely see that I have been a loyal customer and lover of this brand for a while so I'm very eager to try their planners out and see if it'll be something that will work for me but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, it's something a little bit different for me but if you guys are interested in this brand I will leave the notebooks and planners that I have here down below for you guys and I will definitely be filming my setup very soon for this pocket planner. So that is it for me today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions you can leave them down below and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!